Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Chris City Light. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, Aquarius. We're gonna start this again. So I did do your video yesterday, but uh, somehow I started bugging and it just wasn't, you know, it wasn't good. I couldn't upload it, so half of the message was just like mute. But it was about karmic ties, um, Aquarius. And Aquarius, there's a lot of activity in your 12th house of Capricorn. Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. Jupiter's direct. Saturn's about to go direct in October. This is your October reading, by the way, Aquarius. Um, uh, other shifts happening. Venus is in Leo. It's about to go into um, Virgo. Leo is your seventh house of relationships. Uh, Virgo is your eighth house. Death and rebirth. So, like I said, um, then we have Mercury in um, Libra. Relationships again, but for you, it's your um ninth house again higher perspective expansion and it's about to go into your 10th house of scorpio so i feel like ugh, there's a lot of stuff coming up for you aquarius you've been doing a lot of work okay um especially for my aquarius risings and um there's a death and rebirth i mean that i can assure you because there is one for everyone and even the whole planet but for you, it's about around relationships. It's like I felt, well, your reading was about a group of people. I don't, I didn't feel it was love. It was more like friendships or workmates or something that you find out were backstabbing. And that didn't have your, maybe not backstabbing, but they, they, the facade they showed was not the real one. And I think you're about to find out when Mercury goes into, um, how do you say this, into Scorpio, okay? So... Aries is retrograde. I mean, Mars is retrograde in your third house of Aries. So you're probably keeping it to yourself right now. But I, I, I felt like, I mean, in the reading, someone was coming back for sure and coming up with the truth of a dynamic, a group dynamic, okay? So let's just get into it and see if it comes back up, that message comes back up. I'm so sorry I didn't get through. It was really specific. It was a good reading. I mean, I tried to edit it. I just like, I can't. So I'm like, okay, maybe I should just start over. Let's just start over. All right, Aquarius. October, please, Aquarius. This is the news tarot. I'm going to finish all the October readings with these and before we switch into the, you know, October vibes, Halloween vibes. I have a lot of cards I just received, which are awesome. All right. Okay. Inspiration messages. Eight of messages. Something is coming in fast. It's maybe a message. There's movement coming towards you or you going towards something very fast and determined and inspired. It's eight of wands. But I feel like it's more coming towards you, like I said. You're getting message or something. <clears throat> the communication. <sighs> Ace of wands. A lot of wands, a lot of fire here. See, since it's in your third house, uh, um, Aries is your third house, sorry, which is fire. This is... Aries Leo Sag, Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. And like I said, it's retrograde in your third house. I don't feel like you're the one communicating. I think communication is coming to you. And it's a communication that's inspiring, that's revealing, definitely. Even shocking. You know, it's almost like a boom. It's a boom. You know, mind-blowing, I'm hearing. Look at this. Ace of Wands. And it's going to allow you to, to, to have a fresh start on something. A new perspective, a new creative idea. Because then we have the five of materials, which is reversed. Which is the five of pentacles. So maybe you felt stuck for a while, Aquarius. With everything happening in your 12th house, that's not surprising. A lot of inner work being done. More so than, you know, like moving. And I think things are picking up now. There's some communication coming in. Things are going to pick up fast. You might have felt like really like left in the cold, dark, dark night of the soul, kind of a low vibe, kind of a pessimistic, you know, and that's changing here. And it's some, it has to do with some kind of information that comes in. Even the bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands, yeah. You felt very drained. You felt like you were not yourself. You didn't feel confident. This is the, you have a lot of wands here. This is uh, the queen of wands and the five pentacles. This is total pessimism, total lack of self-confidence. Um, faith, lack of faith.
lack of faith, which ripples into lack of movement and um, lack of energy, right? Um, but it's changing here, Aquarius. Let's, let's clarify this Five of Pentacles. Well, let's just clarify. Let's see what it comes out. This is the Zillage Tarot by um, Christine Zillage. Oh my God, I hope this video is not bugging. Because that way you can tell once I'm done, right? And I review it. Oh, but I did have a lot of selenite around my phone when I was filming. So I'm wondering if that wasn't the cause of the, you know, bug. Selenite is a very strong mineral. It has a really high vibration. You can actually feel it if you... Hold it in your hand. Maybe you guys need some selenite. It's very invigorating. It's a transmuter. It's uh, it's almost like fire. You have a lot. You have a lot of fire here. Wherever you felt stale, Aquarius, it's about to turn around for you, because then we have the universe, which is the world card. Um, beautiful. See, it's like she's blooming from um a root but it's not green it's blue so it's like it really reminds me i don't even say want to say throat chakra which is should be throat chakra right but for me right it starts with the green the teal hold on it goes to teal then it goes to blue and then it's, it's like the yellow so it's like for me it's like you've done a lot of healing and this is the end of a cycle it's the world it's a 21 which is a three which is expansion right and um, if, if this is not expansion, I don't know what is. The Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So, Aquarius, if you are worried about finances, just feeling low, by, you know, not at low vibe, but lack of energy, that's about to shift for you. You were just, you just had work to do, inner work to do. And I think uh, Jupiter went direct, so that pretty much opened the doors for you. And now Saturn's going direct, so... For those of you who have done the work, expect a reward here. This is a this is a reward. It's graduation to the universe. And I don't want to take in another card, right? Five swords, conflict, inner conflict, defeat, which is the five of pentacles all day. Feeling defeated, feeling lack of energy. Remember, we have the queen of wands, but she was reversed. Um, yeah, that's over now. You know? feeling defeated, feeling like nothing's moving, that's over, it's over for you, so I like, I'm going to stop at the universe because that's all we need, let's get a soul's journey by uh, Stephen Von Prague, if I'm not mistaken, you guys know these cards, you probably saw them a thousand times, oh my god, I love these universe cards, it's so peaceful and it's so like, it's very artistic, there's a creativity, there's a spark inside of you that is being ignited and that uh, has been dimmed for, I just have to say, <laughs> since uh, those, you know, the big bosses have been in, um, in your 12th house of Capricorn. It's tearing down a foundation that was long, you know, that was like very deep rooted, right? See, in the other one, I clearly saw the... Um, karmic people karmic ties being cut but i guess it was just too you know too specific so maybe that's why the video didn't go through maybe it needed to be you know more broader so people could relate and not specifically like okay i don't even have friends so not for me you know what i mean or my friends are great you know not for me so but basically in a nutshell uh, aquarius you're definitely going through a transformation you, you feel it you know it i'm not telling you anything new just look at your chart, Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter retrograding in your health, in your 12th house of Capricorn. Capricorn is stability, it's um, um, loyalty, it's dedication, it's like your reputation. Everything is being uprooted and you're going to be reborn from that. It's a whole new way. The wheel has turned. You are shifting completely perspective here. Things you believed before that you needed, no, you no longer need. Well, that's what transformation is about, right? Okay, let's get a soul journey. 21, which is a three expansion. We have an eight, which is expansion as well for me. And then we have a one, which is the beginning. And this five of materials, which is a five, is the change that occurred, the shift of your perspective. 
right? Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Oh, you've definitely set your mind now. You've woken up and you've decided to go. For your dreams. And the universe supports that. 100%. Aquarius. Okay? So you are definitely supported by the universe. This is a cycle that happened just the way it was supposed to. It might have felt like hell when you were in it, but you're starting to understand why you had to go through it, right? A cycle ends and another one begins for you. A beautiful new cycle here. I love this card. absolutely love it can't stop staring at it okay so let's get a goddess guidance for you this is from colette baron reed and then we'll get a was the oracle by colette baron reed also this here wants me to read it it just jumped i looked at it and it, was, it just jumped it says result undying love the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation see those are the people falling out of your life it's true and then we have mat which is balance we are in labor season which is a, about relationships right um it's about fairness it's about karma so, well, here to me, here's that energy I felt. It's like some people are falling out of your life. Well, doesn't that happen with every cycle? It does, right? So, they were meant to be here right now, and now you're about to meet other people who are meant to be in your life right now for this new cycle. Okay? Nothing's wasted. That's life. We just, you know, we grow. We grow. And that's what we hope for, right? To be keep growing. But unfortunately, that does not come with, you know, without sacrificing. So Matt, which is the goddess of justice, you know, of fairness, in the Egyptian um, times, it says the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So, again, the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. This is karma. There's some relationships that are falling out and some deep-rooted ones at that. So it's going to be, yeah, and then you had um, sorrow and disappointment. So you will be, you will feel it. You probably are going through it now. If you have already. But this reading is a, I feel a lot of hope here. Um, energy, you know, it's fiery. Um, the world card, you know. Fresh start. Plus the ace of wands. Very exciting. Okay, let's go into the Wisdom Oracle here and close it all for the Aquariuses. Great Spirit. What else for Aquarius? Three minutes, okay. Oui. Attends, je pose la... Je finis là. Deux minutes. OK. If you felt stuck and stale, stale, you know, if you felt stuck, Aquarius, things are about to shift in a really rapid and exciting way. Lots of activity. Which is weird because Mars is retrograde. Like I don't feel like it's you. It's it's energy coming towards you that the universe is bringing towards you. Imagine. Don't don't be afraid to dream. Again, that blue, right? There's something about blue here for you guys. I don't know what it is. There's something blue is very very. Watch out. Watch out for if you keep seeing blues. If uh, somebody comes and gives you a blue gift, something like a shirt or something. Or you meet someone who's wearing blue. Blue is, a, is something. Blue is really something here. 
that's very like pointing out to me right now okay so it says imagine dare to dream pay attention to your dreams as well you know so this is gonna be very good it's like you can manifest stuff right now eight of inspiration is manifestations coming in eight ace of well let's say eight of wands is manifestations coming in energy coming towards you amazing energy look we have the full moon well it's the it's the sun but it looks like a fiery mars here it's mars uh, mars is visible in the sky too right now if you pay close attention because it's very very orange but anyway we're having the full moon in aries on the first so i think by and then we're having two full moons uh, on the first we're having the full moon in aries and on the 31st we're having a full moon in aries and that gap is where everything takes place and it's beyond your wildest imagination so don't don't be afraid to to, to imagine because whatever you imagine it is there's a possibility it could actually come to life these are beautiful look at these cards oh, i love them together the blues i don't know there's something about blue here all right uh, my son is getting on my nerves so um i love you guys um aquarius blue i keep hearing blue 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 i don't know why look and moth is blue too okay well i love you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and help my channel grow and um also i will leave all my i will leave all my um information below love you guys bye